Going out to inside of the courtroom, we're getting some action right now. We do see uh, the judge uh, coming. Okay. And uh, let's listen right here on Live Now from Fox. <coughs> All right, the, uh, we're back, and the appearances are as before with the jury upstairs. And they have notified us that they have reached a verdict. Anything before uh, we call the jury down? Okay. Oh, yeah. Bring them up. We didn't want to do it until we called for the other ones. Right. Then I'll put Jack and have him bring Jack in and down. Okay, bring them in. But. All right, everyone. So the breaking news right here that the verdict, a verdict has been reached right now in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. Let's uh, go to him right here. This is uh, the defendant. He is standing there with his legal team. This is the moment now uh, that uh, everyone has been waiting for. The, this, is, this was the fourth day of jury deliberations. It's just past noon, a local time there in Kenosha. And we appreciate everyone continuing to join us here on Live Now from Fox uh, as we await the verdict. We don't know if there will be maybe an hour delay or if they are going to go into it right now. We'll continue to wait on that right here, but a lot of moving developments here. The judge just announced that a verdict has been reached in the Rittenhouse trial. It should also uh, be noted that the two mistrial requests are still hanging over this case. Defense attorneys alleging they were given lower quality video of the moments leading up to the first shooting and also alleging the state asked Rittenhouse improper questions during that cross exam. So that was just still hanging over. The judge never did uh, make a make a uh, decision on those two motions but right now we are bringing it to you here on live now from fox we are just moments away looks like um the jury will be coming soon into the courtroom that's what the judge said and uh we'll be waiting for that very moment let me just go split screen here for you because we do have the judge and then of course Kyle Rittenhouse as well. We are going to, of course, stay with you right here. We're throwing out all of our breaks right now and staying on this breaking news coverage. A verdict has been reached in this case that has gone uh, national and really international attention because of self-defense claims as well as gun rights in uh, this country. So a lot of talk has been made of that and now we wait for this moment where just outside let's go outside of the courtroom here as well and you can see people now coming to uh, the courthouse here on live now from Fox so that is uh, outside of the courthouse right there and we'll show you Kyle Rittenhouse one more time, but it looks like our station in Milwaukee, Fox 6, is providing some coverage as well. Let's go to that right here on Live Now from Fox, everyone. We're back at it again this morning at 9 a.m. And you're also seeing Kyle Rittenhouse's mother there. You can imagine what is going through her mind awaiting the verdict in her son's homicide trial. Kyle Rittenhouse facing five different counts. Originally it was seven, two of those were dismissed. Five different counts, including a first degree reckless homicide. And there is Judge Bruce Schrader. We will listen in live in Kenosha. Um, by the way. And Suzanne Spencer joining me here in studio as well as we get our look at Kyle Rittenhouse. Again, the breaking news at just past noon this morning that a verdict has been reached in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. Suzanne. And as we await the judge to begin speaking here, initially we were told it would be about an hour before we learned of the specific verdict itself. Uh, it is unclear if the plan has changed, so to speak, from Judge Bruce Schrader. Again, uh, 
Kyle Rittenhouse is charged with uh, killing two people and injuring a third. Joseph Rosenbaum, Anthony Huber, and Gage Grosskreutz have been the focus of this trial and what happened in August of 2020 in Kenosha. This was uh, in a series of protests after the shooting of Jacob Blake by Kenosha police officer Rustin Chesky. Justin Blake, uh, Jacob's uncle, has been an integral part of uh, Definitely since this whole incident has happened, he's actually been outside the Kenosha County Courthouse since this has happened. Uh, but as we take a live look, certainly a lot of emotion as we await to hear the final verdict for Kyle Rittenhouse. The defense team there uh, packed with emotion. We're told that Wendy Rittenhouse sitting behind her son a few rows back, uh, certainly expressing emotion, nervous. You can imagine what's going through all of their minds at this moment, Carl. And same with Kyle Rittenhouse. The uh, most serious of the charges he would face includes life in prison. Some of the others uh, would not be as long a time in prison. Some of the others also included lesser charges, uh, lesser considerations that the prosecution asked for before the jury went into deliberations. But the most serious charge could send Kyle Rittenhouse to prison for life if the jury finds him guilty. The argument from the defense, the entire time throughout this trial has been that Kyle Rittenhouse acted in self-defense that night of August 25th, 2020. No one disputes that he did shoot three different men, killing two of them that night. The question, uh, though, you, was uh, he provoked into shooting in the, uh, and self-defense? Let's listen um, to Judge Schrader. No, it doesn't need to be. Um, there, there, there can't be any reaction at all, no matter how strongly you may feel. And it's understood that many people do have strong feelings, but uh, we can't permit any, permit any kind of a reaction to the verdict. And uh, as you can see, there is quite a bit of law enforcement here, and you will be whisked out of here if there is any. So just be aware. Go down, please. Yes. Thank you. We continue to wait right here for the moment here. We do know that a verdict has been reached in this trial. We're waiting now for the judge. The judge just called down to have somebody else come into uh, the courtroom. So that is what we are waiting for right now. The defense legal team you are seeing along with Kyle Rittenhouse waiting for this moment as well. This was the fourth day of jury deliberations and uh, it did not go the full fourth day. The, the verdict has been reached, and we are now awaiting the moment here. Uh, and let's just show you just right outside of the courthouse here as well. People congregating media as well as people wanting to know uh, what will be the fate Would you uh, 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 give your journal, please? 54. 54. And uh, has the jury reached a verdict as to each count of the information? Yes, we have, Your Honor. One verdict and one verdict only? Yes. Would you hand all of the paperwork to the bailiff, please? This is the ones that you didn't know. Okay. Uh, everything. Okay. Yeah, thanks. May I see that too, please, uh, Mrs. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. May I see that too, please, uh, Mrs. Oh, I'm sorry. Chairman, thank you.
rise and face the jury and hearken to its verdicts. The defendant will rise and face the jury and hearken to its verdicts. That's the first count of the information. H. Rittenhouse not guilty. As to the second count of the information, Richard McGinnis, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the third count of the information, unknown male, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fourth count of the information, Anthony Huber, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fifth count of the information, Gage Grosskreutz, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Ritt Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Members of the jury, are these your unanimous verdicts? Is there anyone who does not agree with the verdicts as read? No. Uh, would you wish the jury pulled? No. Okay. Uh, okay, folks, your uh, job is done, and uh, we started just about three weeks ago. And I, uh, caught, I told you it could last two weeks and two days. This is two weeks. This is three weeks. Uh, you were a wonderful jury to work with. You were punctual. You were attentive. Um, and the forgotten six over here who had a, a, a very difficult job of uh, keeping from discussing the case during the time that they were sequestered as well. All of you, you just I, I couldn't have asked for a better jury to work with. And uh, it has truly been my pleasure. Uh, you've, I think, uh, without commenting on your verdict, the verdicts themselves, just in terms of your um, the attentiveness and the cooperation that you gave to us, uh, this justifies the confidence that the founders of our country placed in you. So. Um, I dismiss you at this time. You're never under any obligation to discuss any aspect of this case with anyone. You're welcome to do so as little or as much as you want. Uh, the media have requested, a number of media sources have requested the ability to talk to you and uh, they have been uh, uh, allowed to present uh, presentations to you that you'll get in writing and it's entirely up to you whether you want to contact, contact them. They are not to contact you. Um, if anyone does contact you and just you know, tell them you're not interested in discussing it, if that's the case, um, and if anyone persists in doing so, uh, report that to us and it will be addressed. 